So let us play a song using Windows Media Player or VLC Player. Open the equalizer and adjust the knobs as shown in the following diagram and observe and celebrate the changes happening in the loudspeaker. So this is the adjustments and effects that what we see in the equalizer of a player. So here if you observe carefully, it is shown as graphic equalizer. So the name itself just if it is a graphics. So the bar that what you see in the screen, please observe the screen, please look at the screen, look at my cursor. So the knobs that what you are going to see here is, it resembles potentiometer. It resembles potentiometer, a variable resistor, a linear variable resistor. So the preset, it shows the flat and all the bars are in the center. So as you all know, I need to push the bar upwards or I need to push the bar downwards, which is nothing but I'm varying the resistance. If I push this up and push this down means I'm varying the second resistor. If I'm pushing this up and pushing this down, I'm varying the third resistor. So how many resistors are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 resistors are there. There is one standard capacitors are there, let us assume. So then 10 RC circuits are there, let us assume like this. Out of 10 RC circuits, 10 capacitors are hidden and 10 resistors are available for the user to vary the resistance. So there is one RC network and C is constant and R is variable. So how many resistors are there? 10 resistors are there. So 10 filters are there, something like that you can say. So this is filter, right? As you know, this is filter. Whenever we utter the word filter means there will be a frequency. So what is the cutoff frequency? Whenever I say the word filter, the next question you ask means, what is the cutoff frequency? The cutoff frequency is in the bottom, you see. It's very, very important, very, very interesting. So the first filter, the first bar, here you can see 60 hertz low pass filter. And the second filter is 170 hertz low pass filter. And three hundred and third uh, potentiometer shows 310 hertz filter and 600 hertz filter, 1 kilohertz filter and 3 kilohertz filter and 6 kilohertz filter and 12 kilohertz filter, 14 kilohertz filter and 16 kilohertz filter. So when you listen to music using the VLC player or any player, from today onwards, better look at the equalizer and look at the frequency of the bands which is in the bottom. When you look at the frequency of the band which is in the bottom, one thing what you can celebrate is those frequencies are within the audible limit. As we all know, audible range is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So if you see the lowest frequency bar, which is 60 hertz. And if you see the highest frequency, which is 16 kilohertz. So which is within the audible limit. Because it is an audio equalizer, which is designed for human ears to hear. Hence, it is within the audible range. That also you can celebrate from the equalizers. And there are 10 frequency bands. Hence, we can say 10 bandpass filters or 10 filters available in a equalizer, which is called as 10 band graphic equalizer. Fantastic, right? 10 band graphic equalizer means there are 10 bandpass filters, something like that you can say. Or there are 8 bandpass filters along with one low pass filter and one high pass filter, the left and right, something like that you can say. This we can celebrate like this. So, what does equalizer do? Equalizer does filtering. Oh, what computer do? Computer does filtering. That's all. What processor do? Processor does filtering. Oh, that's all. What digital signal processor do? Digital signal processor is just filtering. Fantastic, right? Oh, oh they are all only RC components. Something like that we can understand. We can much more we can understand by looking at further slides. It will be very interesting. So audio equalizers of VLC players with flat preset. Now we are going to see the another uh, preset which is full boss. Boss means what? The gain of the low frequency signals is more than the gain of the high frequency signals. Okay, so the gain. So you see 60 hertz, 170 hertz, 310 hertz, 600 hertz, and 1 kilohertz. Here these gains are high and other gains are kept low. So BAS means what? Which will reconstruct only low frequency signals. Which instruments produces low frequency signals? All skin instruments produces low frequency signals. Which are all skin instruments? All your drums. Dum dum dum, all dum dum sound. All your tabela, all your uh, um, meritangam, all your uh, all skin instruments. So meritangam, tabela, drums, and double, double, nada sir. Kaliyanamikkalala double, double nada sir, double. 
கரகாட்டக்காரன் டபுள் something like this so all the skin instruments produce low frequency all dum dum sound will uh, produce low frequency so this is low pass filter something like that when you keep boss you can able to experience dum 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 that all of us know very well right so it resembles like low pass filter something like as you see in the screen okay so multiple band pass filters where low frequency signals are amplified much and high frequency signals are attenuated hence we are able to get bass bass signal which is dum dum signal which is reconstruction of the skin instruments etc it's very interesting right so full bass means uh, the gain of low frequency signal is greater than the high frequency signals and full triple means as we all know the full triple full triple means the gain of high frequency signals is greater than the low frequency signals as you see in the screen it's very interesting so triple means what all the string instruments string like guitar violin veena etc those instruments will produce high frequency signals hence to reconstruct high frequency signals we need full treble so where the high the frequency from the veena frequency from the violin frequency from the um guitar they are all around 12 kilohertz or 13 kilohertz or 14 kilohertz so those chill 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 sound will come when we keep the full treble something like this which resembles like high pass filter okay just by adjusting this we are able to experience different different instrument sounds in different different way so from this equalizer from this what we can understand so processor is doing only filtering whether it is allowing the low frequency or whether it is allowing the high frequency or it is allowing all the signals oh so signal from the microphone or signal from the audio is coming in here it is getting filtered it is going out to the loud speaker that is what we can understand from this which is quite interesting so from the above figures it is understood that audio equalizers are multiple band pass filters of 10 bands of frequencies with cut off frequency 60 hertz 170 hertz 310 hertz 600 hertz 1 kilohertz 3 kilohertz 6 kilohertz 12 kilohertz 14 kilohertz 16 kilohertz within the audible range 20 hertz 20000 hertz so digital signal processing is filtering processors do filtering which is understood clearly by playing a song in the vlc player which is very interesting fantastic right so what dsp dsp is filtering Now we can control like oh processors are doing filtering only. It's very interesting, right? Now refreshing filtering concept filters. If we filter, ne, 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 ne the cut off frequency is f equal to 1 by 2 by rc this is the first order analog low pass filter as we all know this is the first order analog low pass filter as we all know because the storage element is order all of us know very well just i am quickly refreshing this so the number of storage elements decide the order of the filter this you must know if you do not know please make note of it this is very interesting right number of storage element decides the order of the filter here we have one storage element which is capacitor hence we call it as first order filter okay this is very interesting and very important to celebrate right if there is one capacitor we have one storage element hence we can say one order filter so if there is a storage element then it is an order it's very interesting right if you have two capacitors means we have a two storage element then you can say the second order filter this is how you have to understand right and that is called as pole that's very interesting right that is called as pole which is more beautiful where we can relate with control system now so here there are one storage element which is capacitor hence it is first order filter every storage element create one pole now pole zero concepts in your control system has comes into picture which is again an extension of signals and system fantastic right so every storage element creates a pole because there is one capacitor it can create one pole so there is a pole if you look if you analyze this rc network in the form of a pole zero concepts here there is one pole because there is one storage element it's very interesting right so pole is the denominator polynomial in the transfer function as we all know denominator polynomials are poles and if you see this screen it's very interesting there is a pole then it is a memory system meaning output depends on the present and past input because there is a storage element the output depends on the present and past input hence it is called as memory system so fantastic this is just a small trigger to celebrate or to integrate control system um signal sense system digital signal processing all put together forms and better system great okay again as usual the same diagrams but you can experience something different it is an integrator earlier we have seen this circuit as an integrated circuits now we get call this as a low pass filter it's very interesting earlier we have seen this circuit as a 
differentiator circuit now we can call this as a high pass filter so the triangular waveform is a low pass filtered output of the square waveform and the spike is the high pass filtered output of the square waveform from this you can very well understand how there is a pure dc up to 100 millisecond it is pure dc look at the screen look at the cursor up to 100 millisecond it is pure dc low pass filter means what low pass filter means it has to allow the dc signal yes allow means what it keep on increasing it is integrating right and it is zero and again it is trying to catch this zero based because there is a capacitor there is a storage that's why the output depends on the present input present input is dc and the storage input because already there was a storage here there was no storage that slowly capacitor tries to charge okay so that is why we say that output depends on the present input and the memory element that is a pole hence the pole that means capacitor is trying to charge as we all know this triangular waveform is the output of the capacitor this we have to celebrate right so the capacitor is slowly trying to charge hence the output depends on the present input and the past input because here if we say one means it is one here again it is one so one plus one here it is two here here it is one 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 ten ones means here it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so when time goes on the capacity keep on charging hence the present input and the previous inputs are coming the output which is called as integration which is low pass filter which we have to celebrate much better okay like this whatever subject that you study you have to celebrate again coming to the high pass filter here again coming to the high pass filter here here you see there is a pure dc right capacitor blocks dc right there is a pure high pass filter means what uh, the pure dc high pass filter never allow the dc signal so there is a zero output right but here in the beginning there is an infinite frequency there is a 90 degree slope here so there is an infinite frequency that's why high pass filter allows that after that there is a straight line hence there is a it is not allowing and after, at the, up at this point at this point again there is another uh, transition from 1 to 0 so there you will getting another spikes here so transition from 1 to 0 produces the negative spike transition from 0 to 1 produces a positive spike as you see here very clearly this is high frequency so high frequency means edge detection in your image processing you say edge detection is happening in high frequency and uh, uh, blurring happens in low frequency and lot more when you talk about two dimensional signal processing this is one dimensional signal processing so the moral here is it is an integrated and differentiator with respect to op amp which is low pass filter and high pass filter in terms of filtering fantastic right this is how we have to celebrate but it is an analog signal processing but what is that uh, first order low pass filter and first order high pass filter here because there is an op amp we can say it is first order active low pass filter first order active high pass filter something like that you can say so interesting right and again if the order n increases then the performance of the filter increases that you know very well right We'll be studying FAR filter and IAR filter. There, this is the first order filter. You see, look at the screen, look at the cursor. N equal to means first order filter. The response is not as good as we expect. But when you keep on increasing the order, that means keep on increasing the storage element, which is capacitors. That means the order will increase because the pole will increase. When you keep on increasing the pole while designing the filter, when the order increases again, we'll try to get the brick wall filter. Or when the order goes up to infinity, we will get as per the ideal case. But when you keep on increasing the order, we will get the better response as we all know very well. Just, I am just referencing whatever you know in much better way. So, but all the processors are digital systems. So far we have seen only analog filters. What is digital filter? This is what uh, the curiosity comes into picture. The purpose of this is digital signal processing. The purpose of this discussion is digital signal processing because all our video equalizers, uh, audio equalizers are doing only digital signal processing. So far, what we have seen is only analog signal processing. So what does digital filters do? Something like that, we are very eager to understand. Let us see what digital filters do. So what is a digital filter? A digital filter is a set of numbers, which does some mathematical operations on the input set of numbers to give another set of numbers in the output. In signal processing terms, what is digital filter? In signal processing terms, digital filter is impulse response, H of N. Already when you do impulse response H of N, so filter coefficients, it's fantastic, right? In signal processing terms, what is digital filter? In signal processing terms, digital filter is impulse response, which is F of N. Oh, fine. Is H of N a filter coefficient? Yes, H of N is a filter coefficient. In signal processing terms, what is the input signal? That we know very well, which is X of N. In signal processing terms, what is the output signal? Which is Y of N, as we all know. So input signal is X of N, output signal is Y of N. 
and the filter here is h of n it's very interesting this is with respect to digital filter how input signal is processed in digital filter and what will be the output the next question comes how input signal is processed in digital filter and what will be the output next question comes here p of n equal to x of n convolution with h of n something like that we used to have the star denotes it is convolution what is the star the star is convolution so convolution is filtering oh now it's very interesting right is convolution is filtering so we justify convolution is filtering oh justify convolution is slow pass filtering now very we are very eager to know is convolution is a filtering yes convolution is filtering sir sir we justify sir yes we can justify sir so x of n is 1 on 1 and h of n is 1 on 1 What is the kernel output? A of n is we have one to one, which is the output. When I plot this output, I am getting like this, which is very interesting. So the output is similar to the low-pass filter output. Two unit step signals produces a triangle output, which is addition or accumulation or integration or low-pass filtering. Oh oh, H of n is the one one. That is the filter coefficient. So we have achieved the one one. Now first order filter. That is the second coefficient. So we have achieved. ओके इनपुटी Convol x of n is one 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 one. H of n is one minus one. This is the magic, which is very important, right? H of n is one minus one. So one triple zero minus one. So the output is similar to the high pass filtered output. Two step signal produces a spike output at both edges, which is difference or derivative of high pass filtering. So here, this is the input signal and this is the output signal, which we have seen in the analog low pass filter. But here also. Input is one 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 one, which is again like your square wave input, and the H of n is one minus one, which is similar to your resistor and capacitor, and the output is something like one triple zero minus one. When I plot this, I am getting a plot like this, which is high pass filter output. Wow, this is the magic of digital filters. This is the time for us to celebrate digital filters. Observe carefully. The order of the digital filter is number of coefficients minus one. So it is a first order low pass filter. Both the low pass filter and high pass filters are first order filters. Increasing the order means increasing the coefficients to get better filter signal. And from this, very interesting. Here you have to observe very clearly. That is why thanks uh, Raj Kumar and as well. So H of n is one one. When H of n is one one, it behaves as low pass filter. When H of n is one minus one, it behaves as high pass filter. This is magic, sir. Just by changing the sign of H of n. low pass filter has become high pass filter this is the beauty of digital filtering that is why digital signal processing subject that is why digital signal processing lab for changing the sign you are not no need to pay anything for the numbers 1 and 1 and 1 and minus 1 no need to pay anything that's why vlc player is free because it is numbers you have downloaded the player itself is free all your song itself is free why because they are all x of n which are all numbers so the song is also number player is also number when we process means the processor is doing that which is performing convolution which is low pass filtering and high pass filtering and why often again the output is also numbers hence for everything is numbers that's why you are not paying anything right here without resistors and capacitors it is possible to get the same result using just h of n oh resistor capacitor illamiye nam resistor capacitor vechi low pass filter high pass filter output vandiruchu just by changing the sign ingiradhu kondada vendiya new year celebration idhu da ये दा वड़ा सिरपन हमें डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग है सेलिब्रेट पढ़ने में मुड़ी आते जस्ट बाय चेंजिंग द साइन ये आर आउट लो पास पिल्टर इस बिगिनिंग हाई पास पिल्टर जस्ट लाइक दैट वी कैन सेलिब्रेट ओके सो फॉर एच एफ एन ओने इन्हें नो नीड पे एनीथिंग इस द सीक्रेट ऑफ डिजिटल फिल्टर्स ऑल ऑफ दें Justification VLC player is some form of HF and with the graphic user interface front end which play an audio and video for VLC player we never pay because of VLC player is set of filter coefficients. A justification to all the songs are some form of numbers H of n while playing this song H of n is converted with H of n which is VLC player and produces an output Y of n which is again a set of numbers when given to a loudspeaker through DAC it produces a pleasant music for this song also we never pay so we never pay for the player we never for song we never pay and WhatsApp speech WhatsApp audio WhatsApp images WhatsApp videos and WhatsApp documents etc all numbers and they are all free and our Google Classroom. Here our online classes through Google Classroom is free because audio, video, text, etc. Are numbers, etc. 
and Google Classroom app is some kind of a chaff and, and video and audio what we listen is why of and all our numbers for numbers you need not pay hence Google Classroom is also free hence learning digital signal processing is must for making text, audio, video and everything is free that is why digital. Lina operational amplifier poi kadai lwagano, LM7 for wagano, 358 wagano, reverse capacitor breadboard irukano, connect panano, order increase panano, maru resolver panano, jala yaar panang adwa. Ini download panna mudi nchi. Sir, the app download panna mudi nchi, sir, abdi ngano. All the apps are digital. And it is digital, it is free because they are all numbers. But it gives the equal quality output as like how we get it through resistors and capacitors. So, your DSP replaces operational amplifiers. Nowadays, right? It's fantastic, right? Great. The summary, an output follows the input and the signal processing and uh, one-dimensional signal processing as we see speech, audio, image and video signals are examples of one-dimensional two-dimensional signal processing. One-dimensional signal processing, loudspeaker output follows the microphone input in two-dimensional signal processing. Screen output follows the camera input, which is two-dimensional signal processing. And uh, I guess something theorem is the next uh, requirement. And we talked about why digital, there is an integrator and differentiator. And it is not possible because math error has come and uh, celebrating high quality audio, video, free of cost, DSP is needed. So, and the whole world is analog and the whole processing world is digital. And we need a ADC and DAC, which is um, codec, as we have discussed. And uh, by playing a song in VLC player, we have understood that uh, digital signal processing is filtering. So there is a low pass filter resemblance and there is a high pass filter resemblance. And uh, this is the analog low pass filter, analog high pass filter, analog low pass filter and digital low pass filter. Square wave input produces triangular output in both analog and digital low pass filter, which is fantastic. And uh, analog digital low pass, high pass filter, this is high pass filter. And again, the same high pass filter response we are getting. Square wave input produces a spike wave output in both analog and digital high pass filters. And just by changing the sign of H of and low pass filter has become high pass filter. Here, without resistors and capacity, it's possible for us to get the same result using just H of N. But H of N only need to pay anything. The secret of digital filters. Just by changing the sign, low pass filter has become high pass filter. That is the magic. That's all for today. To conclude, signal processing is filtering. Filtering is convolution. If so, then convolution is signal processing. So we need to look upon how to perform convolution efficiently to do signal processing which is called realization of digital filters in hardware.